Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death and welcome back to my Let's Play Space Engineer series. Today we are back in our survival world, bathing in the warm radioactive glow of Jupiter. After more than a month of absent absence. Mostly because of this thing. There was a bug with this, with the pistons. I left the tour space rotating with this extended. And when I logged back in, the pistons hit their whole separatist movement thing. And somehow started like phasing through blocks. Which really messed up the game and caused it to freeze up and everything. So I'm going to have to come up with another way to do this. I'm thinking probably some kind of scissor extension thing but I'll do that off camera because it's going to take a while and not be particularly interesting to watch but I will show the results eventually when I get that done first off today we're going to have a little bit of fun with sensors which was added in 0.46 or 0.046 one there and one there and then let's see set up actions that will be it's left I believe so mm, eight meters should be good Right, does it need to extend the bottom? All the other ones will be 7.5 or I guess we'll just go out 8 meters. To make it easier to type. Turn. Back. Back needs to be a little bit further. Arn. Yeah, it does. So 8. I guess we'll make it 10. And the front will be I guess fine five. Maybe we'll bump it up to seven. Seven point five. Three blocks. Should be good enough. And this one will be detect players. Set up actions. Turn off. When the player gets in range. And then we have this one. Left. Right. We say eight. This one will be toggle block on, toggle block off, detect small ships, third ships, stations, and no players. I don't know about you, but I killed myself zillions of times by walking into that. Now we just need a volunteer. Um, I said we need a volunteer. Come on, it's perfectly safe. There's no more than a 10% chance of losing a limb. At most, a 6% chance of evis evisceration. And worst case, 2% of both. Perfectly safe. Ah, <sighs> fine, I'll figure something else out. Okay, so we have one of our togs. Okay, so that part seems to work. Now then, does it turn off? It does. Let 
Let's see. But it doesn't turn back on when I leave. I don't want to have it turn on when I go out of it. Okay, that part still works. It might be a little bit high. But it should be okay. Guess that's fine. Better too soon than not soon enough. That's enough for sensors. I'll do the SCVs off camera. Today, we're going to work on this. I'm running rather low on various resources. So we need to work on the industrial part of our station. And you may have noticed that I've moved the station so that the top part is facing more towards the sun. Or as much as it can being a station. Being that you can't turn stations from the grid. Was a little bit hard to move. Mostly because it pretty much just laughed at me when I tried to move it with one of my little tugs. But I did manage to get it moved eventually and converted the appropriate box back to a station. So the first thing we need to do is sheath the little spokes so that they look a little bit better. Like so. And then we need to build something that flares out from the station part. That single block down there. And we'll build something that flares out and probably narrows back down. Like so. Not quite sure how I'm going to do the bottom part. I'll need to do something that allows for easy docking and transfer of cargo and things of that nature. But that's for a future episode. And now we're going to set up the battery packs and the area we're going to place them. So, first, we're going to get rid of these blocks. Well, maybe not then. Okay. I guess we'll do it here then. I want that facing... I guess that way's good. There. Now then, we're going to want to build up this area a little bit behind them. Say, have a little cubby hole, cubby hole type thing. Mm, yeah, that looks good. This will probably be either an interior block. Yeah, that looks better. So interior blocks along here. And I forget how tall this needs to be, but I think it's seven. Something like that, and we'll have more interior blocks. Yeah, we'll have to have the interior blocks like that. On both sides for all of them. And back here, we'll put like some lights and sensors and stuff. Just to give it more of an effect. Alright. Now then, what's going to go there? Your small ship. Oops. Okay. Let's 
Let's see, I think we need too high to be able to place it properly. We'll take a small connector. And then a layer of blocks. And then 15 batteries. block in the middle <clears throat> another connector on top mm, is that the same facing yes close enough and here we're going to have to build out a little bit of a tug I guess we need to do it that way. I'm thinking, actually, while I've been recording this, patch one point or point oh four seven has come out, so that we have somewhere in here remote control. So I may use this. And we also have timers, which we'll probably get to in a future episode. Yeah, this would make it a little bit lighter and smaller and all that stuff. So all we need... ...is... ...that... Oops, there. Just a little bit of a connection there. So one, two, three. I think that'll be enough. Then we'll put a camera up top here. Maybe. Three out on all four of these. Three. Like that. Let's go with. Some thrusters, maybe even some armor thrusters. Yeah, armor thrusters would probably be best. Some regular thrusters in case I want them. A reactor and gyroscope. Uh, we may need those other stuff, so we'll leave that right now. We'll put... these. Um, okay. Crap. Okay. Let me grab that and I'll be right back. Alright. Got three on four of the sides. So we just need two more sides to go. Ugh. Chop these tips off. and put some more thrusters if I can get them just right and then some reverse thrusters 
the... I may want to go those... Well, could put that one there. Like this, and then have the reverse thrusters. Right here. I think that would be better. And we'll put four gyroscopes. A reactor. Well, not a reactor yet. We need the control thing first. Make sure that it's facing the right way, which is hard to do when we're facing the wrong way. Okay, yeah, that is the way we want it to face. Plop that there. Then we'll put the reactor. Hopefully it only needs one. And here... Let's see. I guess we'll be able to improve that by putting some slopes. Along with this. And then one of the other ones. Out like that. And I'll do that on all the sides. And be right back. Oh, I do need to put an antenna, don't I? Let's see, where are you? I never can find that. I swear it hides from me. So where should you be? I guess we can put you under the reactor. That shouldn't be in the way. Okay, so let me weld all this. Okay, the drone is done camera right up front here, though I may want to move it to the side, or a camera to the side, so that I can see around these things. And I slightly changed that, added some more reactors and put the antenna in the center so that it's more symmetrical, and because we needed more power, and stuck on a landing gear. It occurs to me after I built this though, that I might want to make this battery powered. And that would mean putting a connector on the end here. I'm not sure about that. Current can't do it really right now until after I build the solar panels to have some power to power it. But maybe in the future. I could also put them a battery up front here. There's enough space. So that could be one way to do it. Actually, there's not enough space. But I could elongate it and do it that way. Now then, over here, we're going to have a little bit of fun with some lights. We already have lights and some sensors. So we'll just put one sensor down in the bottom here. Sit right there. And we're out of detector components. Maybe there's some over here. Probably not. Nope. But there is some right here. Okay. that and then just put some lights here I think vertical like that seven tall maybe every other one that should work without causing any problems I think that needs to be out one more, doesn't it? Yep, okay. So I have to fix that. I 
about these. Actually, let me do all this and I'll be right back. Alright, so I fixed that. We have the lights red right now. And we'll set up the sensor. I do believe we can do this now. We don't have to deal with that laggy thing. So, save power, we can do something pretty small. It's just the front that needs to extend out. Five meters. Actually, I think three meters is enough. Detection on ships. Hmm, I know there's an antenna connected to this. There's supposed to be anyway. I'm not sure why I'm not seeing it. Show sensors. Apparently, don't even need an antenna. It's on. Maybe if we detect the players. Nope, still not drawing. Very strange. If I extend it out a bit more, we'll be able to see it. Alright, let's. Top, bottom. some reason it's just not drawing. I don't understand, but we'll see if it works properly. Three blocks. Okay. Now then let's drive our little ship. Is it the only thing I have with an antenna nearby? And I have not named that. Which I need to do. Put this. Here. Okay, let's see, I definitely need Okay, that's kind of weird Yes, I definitely need to put another camera Especially since there is no third person view. We need to go higher. I believe we may be set. So definitely more cameras. Alright. Good idea set. So we will go back to it. Control. Then lock it into place. And finally, disconnect the merge blocks. it doesn't or it's not too bad controlling this somewhere else now hop out of that okay so our sensor did not work and now I'm not sure if it's going to detect this
Oh, we haven't set up the actions. That would be one way why it didn't work. So, toggle block and toggle block, which we can't do. Uh, it's supposed to be toggle block on both of them. I guess I need to split it up so that it'll be different. And maybe put two sensors. It is green, though. I guess I could do Detect Player, and that'll change it, maybe. If I can get back there, I don't think I can. Alright, you can't do it that way. There we go. So now that it has its thing, it will toggle on. And that is interesting to know that it will work when something connected to the connectors. And I need to figure out a way to have it switch to red properly, probably with another sensor block. But I'm going to build 15 of these. And then probably leave a little bit more room to expand for more of them. 15 of 15 battery blocks is approximately enough to run this for a bit over three hours. Everything that I'm planning on building anyway. Which really isn't as much as I'd like. But to build enough for a day, which is what I wanted, would take far too many resources. But that's going to be it for this episode. I'll probably talk about the stuff that came out in 0.047 next episode, and maybe we'll fiddle with some stuff with it. But like if you like, subscribe if you're not, leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time!